George Entwistle then left the teleconference and I discussed his position with other trustees who were extremely concerned about whether we could allow things to continue to drift. George Entwistle phoned me up after that meeting and said to me, um, are you urging me to go? And I responded, um, we're not urging you to go, but we're not urging you to stay. I then got a call that evening um, from him and from the head of human relations, um, human resources, I mean, um, that um, uh, he wanted to go and wanted to go on with 12 months and more. Um, I went straight into <coughs> New Broadcasting House um, and, was and was told that he was prepared to go um, with a consensual termination of his contract plus. We then spent an hour or so negotiating back and forth with his lawyer um, and uh, he wouldn't accept departure on uh, six months um, and wanted to go on uh, 12 months and more. We either had to deal with it quickly there and then, broadly speaking, on uh, the terms of 12 months, though that was less than we were asked for, or we had to go to constructive dismissal, and constructive dismissal would have landed us with exactly the same amount of money, plus plus almost certainly another 80,000 of unfair dismissal. At every stage in these proceedings, I had advice from Baker McKenzie, and I am very happy to share it with the committee um, on what the cost of various options were. I discussed it with um, Baker McKenzie, among other things on this basis, when I have to defend this in front of the PAC, is it defensible? And their argument was not only that it was defensible, but it was better than any alternative course of action 